Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I have a card for the Lawnscaping Facebook Inspiration Team August Blog Hop. It's sponsored by Ink Road and this month we're being inspired by the color yellow. As I was thinking about this card, I thought of an art project that the second graders at my school did last year where they created these African sunset silhouettes and I thought that that would be really fun to do with the dyes because you could die cut the images out of black cardstock and then be able to have the animals facing each other. So even though there's only one giraffe, I can have them facing both ways because the cardstock's black on both sides. You can do um, the stamp kissing technique where you can make stamps uh, face the opposite way, but it's much easier to do with the die cuts and this is a fun way to kind of stretch your dies, use them without their st coordinating stamps. To further create the scene, I have a heart from the Lawn Fawn Hearts die set, and then the um, hill there was just created with the stitched hillside border, but I used the non-stitched side. And I'm placing this all on a stitched rectangle panel. Now this video is quite quick because I know there's a lot to see on the hop, but I thought that it was a fun technique and I would share some of the colors that I used if you wanted to recreate this look. Of course you could add in some other colors. I, when I did a Google search of some pictures, I saw a lot of um, reds and oranges, and but I you know, wanted to stick with the inspiration color of yellow. But I encourage you to use some other fun combinations to see what you can get and some other stamp sets. I use Critters on the Savannah for those giraffes. I cut a mask, a circle mask, out of the Inka Dinka Doo stamping mask paper. I like to use the mask paper as opposed to post-it notes because it holds down much more securely and when you are rubbing the Distress ink over it, sometimes post-it notes can um, flip up a little bit. And the Inka Dinka Doo masks last for a pretty long time, so I don't mind using it. And you know, it only costs a few dollars for a package of the mask paper, which has lasted me years and years. The colors that I'm using today are squeezed lemonade, mustard seed, and fossilized amber. The fossilized amber winds up looking pretty orange, and I was a little bit um, unsure because I, I kind of felt like maybe it had um, ended up a little too orange for um, the card because we really were supposed to be trying to use yellow as much as possible, but um, I think that it worked out okay. I had tried wild honey there first, but the wild honey was even more orangey than the fossilized amber, although I do find them pretty close, so the fossilized amber might not be worth it if you already have the wild honey. And since the wild honey was a little bit darker and more orangey in my opinion, I did add it to the bottom there, but you really can't see it when the card is finished, so you could definitely just do it with the, um, the three colors and a blend there. So, and then after I've laid down a little strip of each color, I go back with the lighter colors just to blend it out. So there I'm blending out the fossilized amber and wild honey with the mustard seed. And now I'm ready to just glue on the different silhouette components. This is obviously a very quick card because once you have that distress ink going, you um, can just glue them together. So I could see this as a card that if you needed to um, mass produce, you could create a design maybe for a thank you or an invitation um, and be able to create some of them quite quickly. I could see it also as um, a nice Christmas card if you did more of a like um, blue and green sunset or something like that. You, know, you could definitely adapt to this technique and um, use it with a lot of the different lawn fawn dyes and get those that effect of critters without using the stamps and that kind of saves you some time whereas if you had to stamp and color them all out that would take much longer. I'm gluing everything on with multimedia matte from Ranger. I find it a little bit quicker than adding tape to everything and also it helps you to get in those small spaces easily. I add a fine tip to my bottle of multimedia matte. I know not everyone has had great success with them, but I generally have found that it doesn't clog too much as long as you make sure it's clean before you put the cap back on. And then it does um, allow me to get into those small spaces where I would get a lot of glue leaking out before. I'm going to pull up that mask and that white area. I'm just going to leave pure white and I'm going to trim the edges of the um, hillside there off by turning the card over 
and I'm adding a quick sentiment. I thought this Wild About You was perfect, and it's also from the Critters on the Savannah stamp set. So that's it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in more crafting and card tutorials, including Lawn Fawn or Distressing, and many others, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to leave you a link to the blog hop in the video description below. Thanks for watching. Bye.